So I'll be sharing a uh, be sharing lah uh, uh, on this uh, route to professional engineer. So ni this is my email lah kalau ada apa-apa ni -apa, nanti saya akan share lah the contact at the end of this presentation lah. So we'll be going through this uh, ni. Kita nak buat when we want to do something we want to be something we must know what is the end of in mind lah. So why is it actually we want to do professional engineer? Uh, we don't just do a degree just for the sake of getting a degree. We do a degree for what is uh, that you intend lah at the end of your career lah. You want to establish a consultant company ke, you nak kerja as engineer ke, you nak buat chargeman ke, you nak buat uh, even you nak jual mamasak ke kan. Contoh lah. Tak kisah. Uh, tapi you kena tahu apa yang you nak tahu, uh, you kena ada lah at the end of your mind. So we just go through what is, why uh, somebody wants to become a personal engineer. Uh, and then the program outcome of this course. Uh, a little bit on uh, introduction to Board of Engineers, uh, Institution of IEM uh, Engineers Malaysia, which is IEM, and this is the gist lah, the gist of this uh, this talk today, which is the tiga, three routes to PE and PEPC. Yeah? And uh, if we have time, we go through ni lah, competent uh, electrical engineer lah, how how from being a PE you can continue on to become a jurutera electric competent and seterusnya yang menjadi. Uh, Jurutera Elektrik Perkhidmatan lah. Uh, di bawah Suruhan Jenayah Tenaga or Energy Commission lah. This is for Malaysia only eh. Okay. So why why do we want to become a professional engineer lah? Certain times terpaksa lah. Eh? Uh, terpaksa. So macam kes uh, dekat akademik in the universities. Uh, the EAC ya, eh, The Engineering Accreditation Council. They require full time academic staff lah. Kan, minimum, kalau you ada minimum 8 staff, so 3 out of the staff must be certified with professional engineer registration lah. So, barulah you punya, uh, your program tu dapat accreditation under EAC na. So, that is one of the reason lah why some of your lecturers are going for this uh, professional engineer lah. Second is, uh, yeah, the point, uh, second is engineering consultancy practice lah. Senang cerita, this is what we call as consultant eh. Dekat industri, kita ada consultant kan. Eh. So, consultant, for you to establish a consultant, the the apa, the apa staff inside the consultant must be a PEPC ataupun professional engineer with practicing certificate lah. Eh. Okay, and then uh, uh, as per regulation, engineers uh, uh, Re registration act, they require that any employment yang you require to do any professional engineer services, you kenalah jadi PE dengan PEPC. Professional engineer dengan all professional engineer with practicing set lah. Uh, and then, uh, banyak lah. Submit plan kan. Kita, because uh, there's a lot of work with government, so we will be submitting some plans to government punya one-stop center. So you, uh, as a PE professional engineer, you will become the principal submitting person lah to authorities. Macam TMB, Uh, local council kan, uh, majlis daerah, uh, jabatan air, uh, JKR dan sebagainya lah. So kalau orang selain daripada ni memang tak boleh submit. So dia kena ada PEPC lah. So the the main yang selalu critical lah for professional engineer ni ialah uh, civil, electrical dengan uh, mechanical lah. Uh, mechanical untuk elevator, piping semua tu lah. Okay and of course international professional development. Once you have attained PE, there is another step that you can go to, you can be registered as a Asia Pacific punya economic engineer. So, you can practice your professional engineer tu dekat ada Asia Pacific punya countries lah yang participate under uh, APEC lah. Okay. And uh, next step for you to go for competency certification lah. For those of you who are keen to go for pure electrical ni, eh, Uh, jurutera Electric Competent, Jurutera Electric Perkhidmatan ataupun Energy Manager lah. So, once you dah attain P Professional Engineer, you can go for this under ST ya, eh, Suruhan Jaya Tenaga. And uh, Professional Advantage, uh, ni more, bukanlah Professional Advantage, ni more on, uh, apa ya? Monetary Advantage lah. Eh. Consultant ataupun certain power plants lah. Eh, dia, dos yang ada PE ni, dia akan bayar you uh, extra sikit lah. Ada macam extra alone. Banding dengan Uh, those engineers yang just normal engineer yang tak ada PE ya. Eh. And of course, uh, this is a personal and professional satisfaction lah. As a, I, bah, to get that title IR, engineer eh. So, adalah dekat 10 kan, 10 sebab-sebab why you should go for professional engineer lah. Eh. Okay. So, 
Uh, any questions, just ask. Eh? So, the program outcome today, we'll be uh, going to understand on uh, BM and IEM. Uh, the steps required uh, for you to become a professional engineer. So, what is a graduate engineer, GE, professional engineer, and also professional engineer with practicing certificate. And uh, the main topic, which is the three routes to professional engineer. Lah. And how we go about the, lah, the case study. Eh? 